Hello, Dinky Doo, it's just me, Scotty McClue, with a quick Monday evening pop up live on Facebook Live to see that you are all well and behaving yourselves. Also, to ask you a very important question Do you think Scotty McClue should be on a big breakfast show on the radio in the morning on a national station? So, that's something I wanted to run past you as well. But uh, as I say, Monday evening, just a quick pop-up also to say thank you, thank you, thank you to every single one of you who joined us last night live on Facebook Live at 9 o'clock sharp Sunday evening. Tremendous stuff. What a great success. The program is just growing and growing and growing. And that's due to you guys. That's just how fantastic you are. So I know you're all at your evening meal. I know you're all at your tea. A lot of you will be dressing for dinner. Some of you might even be going out but I just wanted to say hi. Nivax Viteg says good evening. Good evening to you. Thakur Sharma. And Helen Tolly says hiya. Hiya, Helen. Lovely to see you. Just a quick pop up Monday evening. Yes, yeah, should certainly get my vote, says David Hennessy. So there you are. That's the question we're asking. Would you like to listen to Scotty McCrew at breakfast time? Scotty McCrew, do you listen to that? Scotty McCrew at breakfast time in the morning on a national radio station and obviously fix my teeth so I could pronounce McClue. Excellent stuff. Hi sir, how are you? Says Thakur Sharma. I am fabulous Thakur. I just thought I'd do a quick Monday evening pop up to say hi to everyone and say thank you. Hello Laird McClue, did you miss me? We always miss you Robbie and it's very good that you are back with us. Dinky do I say. Yes, says Helen Torrey. She would listen to a big breakfast show with a national broadcaster. Excellent stuff. Stuff. Mike Henfield's watching. Welcome, Mike. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do, I hope you are well, sir. It's uh, 20 years this week since we started Century Radio in Manchester, right across the northwest of England. Incredible stuff. So there you are on uh, the 8th, I think it was, if I remember rightly. So we'll see if we can dig out some memorabilia for you. Good evening, Scotty. This is Jacqueline McFarlane. Good evening, Jacqueline. And a very, very warm welcome. This is just a quick Monday evening pop-up at tea time. Hello, Scotty. Listening from Leeds. I'm in a lay-by in the lorry. I hope you're well, says Richard Hill. I am, Richard. Wonderful to know that you're in a lay-by in Leeds in the lorry and you're watching Scotty McClue on Facebook live globally and internationally. Question tonight, should Scotty McClure be on national radio in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland? So that's what we're talking about as well. If you like to pop your tuppence worth in, do so. Get back in the airways, Scotty, and get Samantha back to St. Vincent Paul McPadden. Vincent Paul McPadden. We will do what we can, I always say. Scott Bid is there. I've been a busy wee boy between Shield Inch and Craig Lang the last few days. So, Robbie, good Robbie. You're doing your acting bit. We like that. Oi, oi, Scotty. Hello, dinky do says Scott Beery. Excellent, Scott. Steve Burrows is with us. So there you are. Would you listen to a national radio breakfast show in the morning, obviously, because that's when breakfast usually is, with Scotty McClue presenting it live just for you and saying, Dinky Doo. There we are. Even rhymes with the station. Jeff Bernstein's watching. How are you? Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to the Scotty McClue Tea Time pop up. Just saying hi to all of you. No, you should be on national radio in an independent Scotland, says Ali Yogi. So there you are. Yes, indeed, the station for the nation. That would be the one, wouldn't it? Excellent stuff. Who knows what the future might bring? One never knows. Uh, we do have big radio stations in Scotland as well. Scotty should be a multimedia broadcaster on TV, radio, and the internet. Breakfast lunch and dinner. So nothing at tea time, Robbie. Uh, new cap today, this is Marcus Caseman. Congratulations, Marcus. I hope you're enjoying it and that it fits you well, I say.
So there we are. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. If you're wondering what on earth has popped up on your Facebook, then it's Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet with just a quick Monday night tea time pop up to say thank you to every single one of you for watching last night. Terrific. Radio 2 would be fantastic for you, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. You need to set your alarm early, Scotty, but you'd be good to hear. Have you applied for it? Well, it's early days yet, so who knows? There's still a bit of a um, run around going on round about it. There's a media circus, a media scrum going on. Once all that calms down, we'll see if it's time to put pen to paper. So there you are. You need a tea break, Scotty, says Robbie. Excellent, Robbie. First class, yes, we do. I need to have my tea at night. So breakfast, mid-morning, and lunchtime presentation on television, radio, and the internet. I think this is what's coming. Do you ever sleep, says Marcus Kaysman? All the time, Marcus, but so much to do, and we haven't even scratched the surface yet. McClue is just at the start of his learning curve. So there you go. And uh, we had somebody on trying to imply that I was old today, but uh, everybody made short shrift of that person. Uh, Craig Hunter's watching. Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to the Scotty McClue Tea Time pop up. Just to say hi to all of you. How marvelous. Last night's program was absolutely outstanding. And for those of you who haven't seen it yet, we took a couple of calls. So you'll see me wearing a white shot and a dark tie, nothing new there, and uh, it should be on your Facebook feeds. Um, I would prefer you on at night, as it'd be more interesting and a better laugh. In the morning, everyone's brain has not woken up yet, says Scott Biddy. Well, do you not think Scotty McClue might waken their brains up in the morning? But I see what you mean. You prefer speech broadcasting, and you like when we have a serious debate or discussion, or a funny debate and discussion. Kenny Trainer's watching, Colin White's watching, Willie Kay, Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us. So what sort of show, guys, would excite you all? For instance, when Eddie Doby Senior saying, I don't listen to Radio 2, I said, well, would you listen to Radio 2 if Scotty McClue was on it? Yes. He said, so that's what we're looking for, that sort of idea. Colin Roger, Heather Gibson, and of course, my absolute ultimate radio hero. Sadly, no longer with us, Earthside, Terry Wogan, Sir Terry Tell. Absolutely, he was my absolute radio hero. And someday, I used to lie in bed laughing, and I thought, someday, I'd love to present the Radio 2 Breakfast Show. So there we are. So who knows? David Lafferty, Dinky Doo, and Kevin Walker. Fantastic. So there you are. Because uh, I just used to love it. And remember Jimmy Young as well. I loved when it was Terry and Jimmy Young. And then when they were joined by Ken Bruce. Fantastic. And in the morning, Ray Moore. Remember Ray Moore in the morning, the late Ray Moore. Fantastic presenters. All that sort of thing. Wonderful, wonderful. So there we go. Fun debate show that takes the mick out of daily events with the phone in, says Robbie Crossan. Right, Robbie? That's the road we shall go down. Raymond Benson's watching Dinky Doo. If I can persuade somebody to take the show, then let's go for it. Sunday nights are always great with Scotty on, says Steve Burrows. So what you're saying is, if I went on Radio 2, we still need to keep the Facebook live show, because that's the big one. Karen Mercury's watching Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us, and a very warm welcome. You're all watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, and the first lord of the internet. I'm asking your advice here. Would you listen to Scotty McClue on national radio on a big breakfast show? Go on, Scotty. Time would you back up there where you belong, says Craig Hanton. Thank you, Craig. A lovely, lovely thing to say. I say good evening, says Karen. Good evening, Karen. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky doo, you're watching Scotty McClue. Quick Monday evening tea time pop up just for all of you to say hi and to say thank you so much 
for last night. What a tremendous show. Whatever you decide, Scotty, don't give up on Facebook. So there we are, says Karen. No, no, not at all. So excellent stuff. We'll keep the Facebook show going because it seems to be very, very popular. I also believe it's the future of broadcasting. Once everybody becomes aware that Scotty McClure's